How's it going, everyone? Uh, the video we're doing today is a word cloud. And I mean, you'll see this a lot with marketing, uh, especially, but you can use it for a lot of other things as well. Uh, the great thing about this particular word cloud is when you build it in Tableau, it can be used as a filter. So for example, you know, in your data set, and maybe we'll do a sample here, I'll add something in. Um, let's start with the data set itself. All right, so <clears throat> the data usually kind of comes in two main forms. The first is you have some sort of, you know, label or word or, you know, something that you're measuring. And then there's an actual value that you're going to use for the sizing of the letters, right? Um, that is the first way. The other way is probably what I see more often is when someone gives you survey data, a lot of the times it's, it's a question. So you go, right, what's your favorite restaurant, right? And then for each person you have, you know, whatever they choose. Oh, I like KFC, I like Hungry Jack's, Pizza Hut, whatever, whatever it is they like. So I'm going to show you how to do both of them. And what I'll actually also show you is how to do, we'll add another thing here, we'll, um, how to do like a further filter. Let's just say, um, <clears throat> I'll give this like a nutrition score, right? And I'll show you how to do like a filter on top of this. So I'm just going to do a random function. Let's just say from 100 to 1000, just arbitrary kind of value right we'll paste that all right and then we'll save it okay so i'm just gonna make these the same all right save and i've already connected to tableau so what i'll do is i'll just get rid of this and i'll clear this one and the one we have to refresh is just this so we can get that new value in there okay so let's begin i'm going to start with the rating one and it's very simple um i actually think it should be a default one available here already, uh, just because I do see it quite often. All right, so you always want to start with the label, okay? So you grab it and you put it here into text, okay? So now they're just individual ones. <clears throat> then what we want to do is uh, size it based on the rating. So I can just grab rating and put it into size. And this is kind of where um, a lot of people start getting confused because then it'll do this and they're like, I don't know what to do next, right? And no matter what I do it here, it, it doesn't seem to change. The secret is you have to click on this, on the marks, and then select text. Because what happens is based on what you've put in, the kind of intuitive response of Tableau is to make it a hierarchy chart, right? So we switch this to text, and straight away you have your um, word cloud. We can add some color in here, so I tend to just put something like that, and maybe like a really good contrasting kind of black, I don't know, black, blue, maybe. Not something I usually do, right? Um, actually, we're gonna do this the other way, reversed, right? So it shows that, you know, Hungry Jacks is the most popular. All right, example number two, how do we do it with the customer range? It's actually exactly the same, except for one difference. So again, let's bring, and I'll do a different way this time, is if you do restaurant, <clears throat> right? And then straight away go into text. Right, and that means as soon as you put the customer in, it goes straight into the word cloud. So, a little something different, okay. And then what we're going to do is, uh, we're just going to count the number of customers, right? So I'm going to right-click, drag here, and I, instead of the standard sum, we're going to do count. So CNT, and straight away you got your word cloud, no problem at all. And again, we're just going to add some color. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to do the filter as well. So it's you just got to treat it like any other. Uh, visualization. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do restaurant and nutrition score. So just a simple bar chart for now. All right? Something like that. Highest to lowest. Can't help myself. So let's bring this all into a dashboard. So sheet two and sheet three. Right, get rid of this just for my OCD. Right, and entire view so it spaces out a little bit. And again, you can just you can just turn this on, and as soon as you click on Hungry Jacks, it filters, right? And you can go backwards and forwards as well. So if I turn this one on, right, you can do that. Now I have seen ones where you have a lot of words. So when does this actually come in handy? All right, one of the analysis you can do is a lot of times you have something called unstructured data. So let's say you have Twitter feeds or you have customer comments. So let's say, you know, if you've used Salesforce before, anything where it's a customer relationship 
database. You'll have, you know, someone on the phone talking and they'll say, you know, this is the problem with my thing, whatever, whatever. And you can analyze that text. You can do keyword analysis. You can do, you know, go further into the data science kind of realm and start rating. Is it a positive review, negative review? And a lot of this kind of word cloud method helps with that because you can say, all right, let's say <clears throat> um, I'm a car company and a lot of people are complaining about car washes. You'll actually be able to see here, it's like, hey, car washes is, is coming up a lot. What's going on with that? And you go further or deeper into that. That's just a basic keyword analysis. You can go even further to say, well, is it a good experience with our car washes or a bad experience? That's data science realm. So if you're interested in that stuff, let me know. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.